Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I am here today at the Rock Island Auction House. I'm taking a look at some of the guns that they're going to be selling in their upcoming June of 2016 regional auction. And I found this tiny little early, tiny, one-handed pocket pistol that we ought to take a look at. So you can't see anything from back there. Let's bring the camera back just right now. All right, let's, ah, uh, geez, you know what? This thing's really tiny. Let me zoom in some more. There we go, that's better. This thing is really tiny. Uh, it's got about a two inch barrel total. That includes the chamber. So you've got maybe one inch of actual barrel, which is not a whole lot. Now, obviously what makes this distinctive is there's no visible trigger and it's got this neat, interesting, weird sort of sculpted front end. Now this was designed by a, a rather influential uh, Czech designer, uh, Václav Holek. Uh, he was one of a couple of brothers. Uh, he would go on to design the ZB-26 light machine gun, which was an extremely successful and fairly widely copied and widely used light machine gun. And he did quite a bit of other work in everything from compact pistols like this to sporting arms to military arms to light machine guns and more. So this is one of his early pistols. These were manufactured in 1921 and 1922. This particular one is proofed, 1921 there. A little Check rampant lion proof mark. It's serial number 3134 out of something a little under 8,000 of these made. That's a fairly substantial number, but in the grand scheme of things, this was not very successful. Uh, they only made them for two years and then, and then gave up and went on to other guns. Uh, Holek would come up with some much better, well, judging from commercial sales, he would come up with some much better guns uh, later in his career. But this one is creative and interesting. Now, you can see there's no trigger. Uh, the reason for that is the trigger actually folds. That's the trigger right there. And in order to access the trigger, we get a nice firing grasp here and you loop your index finger up into this cutout and pull the slide back just a little bit and the trigger presents itself. Now this is not a pivoting trigger, it's just a horizontally sliding piece. It goes directly backwards. Now what makes this kind of cool is we can actually use this entirely one-handed kind of like some of the, uh, the Lignos Einhand guns, kind of like the Holo R, uh, except this thing is so small that you just use your index finger in this cutout on the slide to operate it. Now, obviously, it locks open when the magazine's empty. When I pull the magazine out, the slide will drop, although because of this finger cutout, it's very easy to hold it in place and let it down gently. Uh, it's 25 ACP, holds six rounds of ammunition, which is pretty standard for a little pocket gun this size and single action. There's your trigger pull. And if you need to cycle the gun, you can do so with the finger. Now, when you're ready to put the thing away, what you do is pull the slide back slightly, push the trigger up, and then there are a pair of little rails in the front of the slide that catch it and hold it there. So it's underpowered, but it's kind of clever and neat. Uh, the sight on it, of course, is just this open channel down the top of the slide. That's it. There you go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, not everything that uh, a great designer comes up with is actually always a great product. Everyone's got some weak points, and yeah, this didn't go over so well. But it kind of looks cool. It's a very interesting idea, and I thought it would be pretty cool to take a look at. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to own this one yourself, of course it is coming up here for sale. If you take a look at the link in the description text below, you'll find Rock Island's catalog page on this little guy. You can check out their pictures and description. And if you can't live without it, you can place a bid right there through their website. Thanks for watching.